Hello, my name is Aleksander Dziewiecki. I invite you to watch this and other of my business speeches. Our leader is born, or you can really teach people to be a leader. Now, I have to tell you something. I'm a CEO of the training company. So, to be politically correct, I should say, you can, <laughs> you can train everyone in anything, right? Because this is where, where, where we do business. And we have also, researching the leaders working in Poland, trying to, we were trying to figure out whether there are some competences, features, behaviors that are common to all of them, to find out what's the core of, of leadership. So, trying to answer this question, I will refer to those two things. In terms of what science says about that, what different kind of research and, and know-how and leadership gurus say, there are two types of gurus. Some of them are personalists. One of the leading personalists is Manfred Katz de Vries. Maybe you have heard about this guy. He is a professor at the INSAT uh, uh, University in France, being responsible for leadership. And he wrote a lot of books about the personalities of leaders. And what he says is that <coughs> leaders are born, leaders are born in a sense that they are either, either genes, 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 yeah, or they are made in the first three years of their life. Okay? But let's don't discuss this because it's another issue. It's the debate between the, the, the medical doctors and, and the psychologists where the people are born, are in more important genes or more important the first three years of, of, of life. Let's leave this. It doesn't matter. You're three years old, it's the same. It doesn't matter whether it's genes or it's, uh, it's, the, it's the, uh, how you were brought up by your, by your parents and how much love you were given and so on. And he says there are different kind of personalities of leaders. There's no one personality. But either you have one of those or forget about being a leader because only those five or six personalities of leadership really work. And these are very hard to change and very hard to grow. You can grow some skills, but you cannot change, at least in the short time, those personalities. So what he says, the personalities, persona lists, what they say, they say more or less the following. You are born somewhere, with your, the way you are, or the, 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 the three years, and then you may try, on your way of development, to modify and to change, but the older you get, the more you become actually who you have already been as you were born. <laughs> <laughs> Can you see that? So you are, you are trying your best, you know? You are, you are trying your best. You are trying to to modify, you are trying to change, you go to those workshops and try to learn, but actually you are who you are. At, <laughs> at the end, this is what uh, my wife sometimes says to me as well. <laughs> On the other angle, we have gurus like Blanchard, who we cooperate with, or with uh, or Goleman, and they are situationalists. So what they say, they say, doesn't matter where you start because you can add, end up here or here or here depending on how you try to modify your character, your behaviors, your skills and so on. So there is no one answer. I'm sorry to say there are two different ways of looking at things. Uh, but what we did with our research in Poland here, we found out that there are four, we call them cornerstones of leadership potential, that we found out are closer to this side than to this one. And if you ask me, being a CEO of the training company, what I think about these two ways of thinking about leadership, I'm here in the middle. <laughs>